Final Cut Pro 10.4 gives you some great new tools for adding two-dimensional elements, such as text and graphics, to your 360 movies. I'll set the field of view to 120 degrees. Then have a look around the room in all directions. After viewing the scene on location, our client was alarmed that there are no logos of her company anywhere in the scene. I'll start by selecting the clip, pressing X to mark a range that matches the clip duration, locate my client's logo in the browser, and press Q to connect it above the clip in the timeline. Parking the playhead over the clip reveals the graphic plastered in the center of the sphere, obscuring our lovely interview subject. In the inspector, there are a new set of controls labeled 360 Transform. The important thing to understand about this tool is that unlike a standard transform effect, all image manipulations are performed in a three-dimensional space. We'll start by moving the graphic further away by dragging the distance slider all the way to the right. Next, I'll adjust the latitude. As I drag on the slider, the graphic moves around the sphere from the north to the south poles. In the viewer, the logo is distorted in these regions, but it's projected correctly in the 360 viewer. As you might recall from elementary school, latitude is the global north or south position relative to a fixed starting point, the equator. The latitude adjustment has a zero starting point, which you can think of as the equator. Enter 90 for latitude, and the graphic will be placed at the zenith of the sphere. Enter minus 90, and the image will be placed at the nadir of the sphere. Looking at the logo in the 360 viewer, you'll see that it's now covering the camera rig. I'll adjust its rotation relative to Jocelyn by dragging in the Z rotation hot scrubber. I'll reset the latitude and Z rotation parameter, then set the distance to six. It's a fairly common practice to use logos to hide camera gear, but our client would prefer her logo placed on a background wall of the hangar. Dragging on the longitude slider moves the graphic along an east or west trajectory. I'll drag in the viewer to locate an empty wall, then keep moving the graphic longitudinally until it's roughly in the position I want. I'll then use the latitude controls to move the logo higher in the sphere. In order to make the graphic match the wall's perspective, I'll drag on the Y rotation scrubber. As a final touch, I'll apply an overlay blend mode to the graphic so that its pixels meld better with the wall texture, then have a final look around the environment. Final Cut Pro 10.4 makes the process of integrating and placing 2D elements in your scene a breeze. If you're interested in going further in your understanding of these new 360 editing tools, check out my 360 video editing course at rippletraining.com. It's available for streaming or download, and it includes the media for following along.